All right, eighth graders. So this is lesson 3.1 and 3.2, and I'm going to show you guys the little experiment, our hands-on activity that you guys are doing with the ruler. So the first part of this experiment, you guys are looking mainly at an object that is in motion and an object that is at rest and then their collision. So what you guys will be observing is what happens uh, to their motion beforehand, okay? What you think their force looks like when they hit each other and then their motion afterwards. So my instructions say to use the data table to set up the collisions and record the results. And I'm looking at slide nine to kind of show me how I'm setting up. So for my first example, uh, this is gonna be my object A is gonna be kind of at the end of my ruler and object B is gonna be about halfway down my ruler and that's also gonna be a bouncy ball. So I have two bouncy balls that are roughly the same mass, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my object A into object B and you guys are going to be able to see kind of what happens with their collisions, okay? So again, you guys will be filling out the little data table on slide 12. You guys will be circling uh, the force direction for object A. So when object A hits object B, it puts a force on it. So what direction is that force? So you guys will either highlight left, right, or none. And then force direction for object B. So when object A hits object B, object B is going to put a force back on object A. So what does that force look like? And you guys will kind of see that in the results for the after. So what's the effect on object A? Your object A is either going to speed down, slow down, or excuse me, speed up, slow down, start moving, stop moving, or change directions. And you guys will see that object B will have a change in motion as well, which is either going to be to speed up, slow down, start moving, stop moving, or change directions. So this is collision number one with the two bouncy balls where I'm taking object A and pushing it into object B. So let's go ahead and observe what happens. Oh, geez. Let me try that again where I actually do a good job with it this time though. Okay, so object B stopped. Okay, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what happens there, okay? On slide 12, you guys will have a golf ball as object A and a rubber ball or a bouncy ball as object B. Okay, I'll keep object B the same for you guys. And same thing there, I am going to Go ahead and push the golf ball into object B, which is our bouncy ball. And you guys will talk about the forces of each of that collision and then the reaction or the effect, change in motion, however you guys want to describe it, of each ball afterwards. Okay, so you guys can kind of see how that's different. I'll go ahead and do that again so you guys can see it one more time. Okay, and for trial three, we're gonna have the rubber ball bouncing into the golf ball. So we're just gonna kind of switch those two there. Again, you guys will talk about the force that the bouncy ball puts on the golf ball and the golf ball puts back on the bouncy ball and how they might change motion. Okay. All right, so that takes care of part one of this hands-on. For part two, we're looking at objects moving towards each other. So both of these objects will be moving. Okay, so for the first one, we are gonna have the rubber ball colliding with the rubber ball. So I'm gonna have object A over here, object B over here, and I'm gonna push them both towards each other. Okay, let's try that again. Get them stop first. Okay, so you guys can kind of see what happens there. Okay, so that is gonna be on side 17. And on slide 18, we're gonna do the golf ball and the rubber ball. Get those kind of both stopped on here. And then again, I'm gonna push them towards each other so they're both gonna be moving when they collide. Okay, so you guys can kind of see that. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so a little bit different response than in the last one. So this is gonna be your guys' data for slide 18. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.